So my name is Mary Pugh, and I'm an associate professor of mathematics at the University of Toronto. And I've been using Crowdmark for teaching a second year service course on differential equations to mechanical and industrial engineers. At the beginning, there were about 325 students, and now we're down to about 305. And there are seven TAs, and we have about five or six of them involved in marking exams. I like that the TAs don't have to alphabetize papers, that TAs don't have to add up numbers and put them on the front page, that TAs don't have to enter marks into Excel grade sheets, because TAs don't come to graduate school to do low-level clerical work, and it also is a great source for errors. Um, I like that TAs don't have to exchange plastic bags full of exams, um, which slows things down. I, don't like, I like that we don't have to worry about exams getting lost. Um, I like that they can grade wherever they want, whenever they want, because TAs have their own hours and should be able to keep their own hours. Uh, some courses, some large courses, they just say, everybody will grade from 9 until they're done on this Saturday. And, well, if you've got a life, that might not work for you, but Crowdmark will work with every life. I like that TAs don't have to flip pages to get to question number 5. I like that I can uh, look at something if a TA flags it. So if a TA is grading something and doesn't know what to make of a certain answer, they can flag it, and I can easily find that question. I like that there's a button you can press when everything's graded, and the students just get a, P a link to a PDF file with their graded exam. So students get their exams. We don't spend tutorial time returning exams. Students get their exams back more quickly because, again, there are no plastic bags full of exams being swapped around between TAs. I like that students can just email me with regrade requests, which forces them to actually put together a coherent argument and not just sort of rely on my feeling awkward when they come to my office. You assign a TA a certain number of hours to get a job done, and you never know whether they have spent more time or less time doing that job. Sometimes TAs will spend 20 hours doing something that they're paid for, 20 hour, for 10 hours, and they don't have the stomach to go to the professor and say, well, actually, I spent twice as much time doing this. Uh, and certainly if they spent five hours doing something that they were paid for 10 hours, that's also something that you're not going to hear about. Um, when I did survey that my TAs, they were perfectly happy with the Crowdmark experience. So if I couldn't use Crowdmark anymore, I would, I would be bummed. But, you know, life goes on. But it would be a pity because I would have, you know, gotten to drive in a nice car for a while and then had to go back to driving in a Beater. So one thing that I like about Crowdmark is that the graders never see the front page of a paper. They do not know whether a paper is written by a man or a woman, whether it's written by a South Asian or a Chinese or a pure wool Canadian. Uh, it diminishes biases. You can have biases based on handwriting. You can have biases based on sloppiness or neatness. But it um, you can't be affected by whether or not this is the paper from that annoying guy in your tutorial who reads the newspaper. And so I think it's, uh, it makes things fairer. So my hope is with something like Crowdmark is that the TAs will get faster and faster at it, which will then allow me to use the TA hours for things that they're actually better suited for. And so if I have a good TA, for 52 hours, if I could have them for 30 hours of face-to-face -face time, that's much better than having them for only 15 hours of face-to-face -face time with the students. And so my hope is that with a tool like Crowdmark, that I would have the same number of TA hours, but that I could do, deploy the TA hours for face-to-face -face interactions with students more than for grading, and that would be better for the students, and it would be better for the TAs because that's part of professional training is learning how to communicate with students.